prepared for that. Pilots, can we buy the flagpoles here? Hi, my name is Michael Ray Dew. Um, I'm here today at uh, the Wings of Victory 2014, and I'm here to show you a couple of planes that I put together and uh, flew in the event. I'd like to start off with uh, the Corsair. This is a uh, top flight giant scale ARF that you can just buy out of the box. It comes completely built and, and uh, monocoated. I did my own scale modifications, of course. I tore all the monocoat off and fiberglass the plane and uh, put in a retractable tail wheel and retractable tail hook that's functional and put in a scale canopy and a sliding canopy that's manual. It doesn't work on a servo. It's actually just done by hand. Uh, that's a Pappy Boynton pilot by Best Pilots. Uh, Pappy is uh, done by Lyle Vassar and he can you can get it painted and already put together if you'd like. The engine is a DLE 55 rear exhaust. I made my own muffler and scale pipes on the plane. Um, the lights are all functional, the navigation lights and uh, even the formation lights are all functional and working on this plane. And uh, flies very nice. It's 29 pounds and uh, I'm very very happy with it. Very nice. I like the detail on it. That's great. The landing gear are Robart retracts with a UP3 valve to do the, the doors and the the landing gear. The paint is class coat paint. It's a A and B epoxy mix. This is my World War I entry uh, to the Wings of Victory. This is a Balsa USA kit. It comes in a box full of uh, wood. There is a couple plastic pieces like the under chin cowl. Uh, this plane I've put in as much detail as I possibly could. Uh, this is a hundred percent scale uh, replica of, of a World War I other than the hinges in the elevators is all. This plane I, I hand carved and made all the instrument panels and there's a functional compass I took from a Boy Scout compass and made into the mock scale compass of there and it's functional and working. The actual in, uh, throttle control actually turns on the aircraft. It's the receiver's battery there. The pilot is held on by magnets and I did all the stitching and stuff with a sewing machine. There are a total of one 4,148 stitches on the ribs of the wing for the top and the bottom. The lozen is a Solotex fabric that's a heat shrinking fabric that I printed on my HP uh, printer, uh, large format, and then I class coat, clear coat so that it doesn't smear and doesn't get all messed up. The engine in this plane is a Sato GS gasoline 36 four stroke engine. I have the scale pipes coming out, the scale location, and uh, it, uh, it flies very well. It is uh, balanced very well. It flies. I've had a couple dead sticks and still been able to land it and very nicely, but this plane took me about four months to make.